Welcome back to To Enable Help. Uh, I'm now going to explain to you how to access the Full Sword Light application. In the previous module, I discussed how to access My Learning Light. So, if we select uh, Sword Light application, you'll notice it loads there. It was busy loading the application itself. It's important to note that this is an application, and and you, it is something you can install on your computer as a as an application on your desktop, and um, you can access it directly from a desktop icon. So when you install it for the first time, you'll know, you'll see it'll download the application. And if we do an update, it'll it'll download the update, and that will probably take two to three minutes, depending on on the speed of your internet connection. This is the Silverlight application, and it's running in a browser. So you can you can see we still obviously in our instance here we're using Google Chrome. And it opens up a, di uh, a, a, um, a dashboard for us, and it shows here yeah, average community investment and value score. And uh, as we start to do tests and as we start to progress um, through our various learning modules, these will become populated with a variety. Well, it's a graph, but it'll show us an indication of what our academic <coughs> result is. The community investment uh, is a measure of how much you help other people through the instant messaging uh, space. And the value scores, uh, at the higher grades, we drop in value-based questions and we try to assess uh, whether your values are aligned with our values. And the idea there is, is once we find a student who has a high uh, academic performance, is very invested in helping other people, and has a similar set of values to us, you the type of student that we're looking to help with a bursary. Uh, the other thing you'll note is here uh, is brought up a revision link and we did do a couple of assessments using the learning light. So if I click on the revision link, we did a mathematics and an accounting um, assessment in the learning light. And this is showing us uh, what we should be uh, revising. So these are the questions I got wrong in the mathematics. Um, and I can view the, the question I got wrong and it should load up the question. I'll give that a second. Is the question I got wrong, and if I think it's a bad question, I can report this as a bad question, and then I can ask for help. And the idea behind the asking for help is there's my question linked, so whoever receives this message is going to be able to see the question I'm battling with, and here I can type what I need to type. Uh, help with this, please. And obviously that's not a really good question, but you need to maybe explain precisely what you don't understand. And here you have three options. You can throw it to your teachers. So if your school is using this application, this if you click here, it'll go to the, the teachers who are who are mentoring mathematics, uh, grade 11. And this is my learning circle. And uh, we'll show you later how to set up a learning circle. And this is thrown into the cloud, which means that anybody who is on the application anywhere in the world who's answered this question correctly will receive the message. So we're putting you in touch with somebody who's, in fact, uh, answer the question correctly. So I'm not going to send that out, but, but that is the process uh, in terms of asking for help. So we can show you what you've got wrong and you've got a mechanism to go and find help and obviously you can um, go web browsing or go and speak to your teacher directly without using the application. Uh, if I have a look at the accounting, the accounting will be similar. In fact, on the accounting it's actually telling me what resources I should revise. It's telling me I need to revise this uh, recording of co uh, cash transactions because I, the questions I got wrong related to that. And again, here you can see all the questions I've got wrong and I can pick any question and um, I can then go and ask for help and, and try and uh, complete the learning cycle. But the Silverlight application is very similar to what we've seen. Uh, we've got the same four icons, my learning, my account, uh, my calendar, my account, and my organizations. An additional one is my mentorship. So this is for uh, if you are a teacher and you've been appointed a mentor for your school, uh, you will then be able to mentor children in, in that organization. So what we're going to show you here is obviously the my learning, and uh, we will come back and we will in greater detail through the, the other uh, modules. But uh, at the moment, I'm going to take you through the My Learning. And it's very similar to what we've seen in the, in the Learning Light module. The difference is, is that uh, we're going to have some results here at the bottom. And uh, if we give it a second to load, 
And um, in fact, while it's loading, I'm actually going to show you the messaging. The messaging here, I've actually invited Michael Matthews to be uh, into to join my circle. These are other people's circles who will have asked me to join their circles. So I can have, I can be part of many circles, and I have actually my own circle, and I can add new circle members by either if I know their username, by their cell phone number or mobile number, and if they're at the same school as I am, and if I'm a mentor, I can actually add um, users who I'm mentoring, just merely by selecting that, but that will load all the users that I'm mentoring into my, into my circle. So returning to my learning, and you'll notice this is a different functionality, is that you've actually got tabs at, across the top here which you can access directly. So on my learning, you can see in the accounting and mathematics, this is what we enrolled for. We enrolled in this in the learning light, and um, you can see here bookkeeping of a sole trader. We're still waiting for the result to come through because if you recall, there was a free form answer and we're waiting for a mentor to answer that. So mark that. So once a mentor has marked my free form answers, I will then get a result. But the mathematics, they were all multiple choice and the computer program was able to um, mark that on its own and obviously I, I guessed away and, and I was lucky I got 40% but that's um, that's not really the ideal. We, we, we're looking for excellence and, and just guessing and getting 40% is not, is not the ideal. So the next thing is if you want to enroll in additional grades the, the functionality is still the same. I can select a learning area and again the screen is split into learning areas at the top and grades associated with the learning areas below. So, And these are what it will populate are learning areas that I've not enrolled in um, already. Okay, So I'm going to go, uh, let's pick music theory grade one and I can enroll in music theory grade one. And, and exactly as I did in the learning light, it's presented, it adds it to my list. So I can then go music theory grade one and I can begin music theory grade one and I've obviously done no tests for music theory grade one. But in music theory grade one, you'll notice there's only one module. Unlike mathematics where there's, uh, there's 36 modules, uh, which is one per week, there's only one module for music theory. And if I select that, then what we will see is a host of videos and the, this is now the icon for a video whereas in the learning light it was a it was a blue link this is uh, actually shows you a clapperboard and as i go further down it'll show me pdfs and in fact in some of them you'll you'll see web links and a web link is actually um, that's a globe in the silver light version and in the learning light version it's a green link so uh, here you can see obviously the PDF document and he, I can actually save it and download it. On the video side, uh, if I click, I can select any video I'd like to watch. Again, this is operating on an online environment. Um, we're very close now to being able to set this up as a learning circle, uh, where at a school these videos would in fact be hosted on your school server, which means that anyone viewing the, these videos and these resources wouldn't be using your bandwidth. Um, but that requires uh, a special setup, which is fairly simple to do, and you need to register with us so we know precisely who is operating in that space. Um, and that is, allows us to use this application in a very low bandwidth environment. So again, you can go through and you can watch all the videos you wish to watch. And at the bottom here, you have got your assessment where you can start your, your questionnaire. And again, in the music theory, we have got 10 minutes to do the questionnaire. And if I select start, and I believe we're going to have lots of true or false, and we do lots of true and false. And the look and feel is very similar to the look and feel uh, in the learning light. And I'm not going to, I'm just going to randomly guess uh, answers again. Um, so I'm just going to go through this. And every time I select an answer which is incorrect, it is going to deduct the value. Uh, uh, it's going to deduct a mark from me. So if I get it right, it'll obviously give me a mark. But if I if I randomly guess, it'll be deducting marks. So the idea is, if you don't really know your work, you definitely will not be successful in, in going through the guessing game and, and hoping to pass that way. There you can see your your countdown. There's 44 
45 seconds of the 10 minutes that has elapsed. And if I wish to finish early, I can do the same thing and I can complete early. And there it's telling me I've, I've completed the, the step and was sponsored by the Castle Bridge Music Development Academy. In a second or two, it should actually, uh, in fact, there it's given me 0%, but I guessed everything I got 0 for, for Module 1 in Music Theory. And that's how quick it is to get your response um, where the computer can actually do the marking. Okay, Obviously, if, you, if it includes a practical assessment or if it includes a free-form answer, the computer will not uh, mark it for you. You need to wait for a mentor, a uh, mentor to do that. And then once it's, they've marked it, you will get a result. So if I show you on the accounting, I'm st I don't have a result because I'm waiting for a mentor to mark it. But the mathematics and the music theory I do because they were purely multiple choice and true or false questionnaires. So, so that is basically how it works. And if I come back here, once this my dashboard re refreshes, which it has already, there it's showing me my music theory. And hopefully in the... In fact, I haven't been performing very well, so it's, it's my year average hasn't even featured. But here in the music theory, it's telling me I need to actually go and revise these three resources. I can, if I click on one of them, it'll open up a, a new page and deliver to me just that resource. So uh, there it is, Dynamics and Accents, and it's a PDF document. Okay, so, and there's one thing to notice, if you're battling to view uh, your PDF, you can click on this link, which will open the PDF outside in the, in the PDF viewer. So. There it's told me what to revise, and then I just selected one, I, one item. If I decide to revise all, which is everything that I should revise for music theory, it'll load all three of those resources into this page. So there you have all three of the resources, and you can then go through and revise. Um, you can select those resources to then go and watch. Um, Again, on the music theory, there were the, the questions, and that's the, the same standards going through, throughout. So I'm, I'm hoping that that uh, explains to you how to use a Silverlight application to access the learning content. And you, as you can see in the Silverlight application, with this ability to revise what you've got wrong and to see what you've got wrong, and then to communicate with your peers and your learning circle, which you would set up um, in the messaging module, um, you've then got a mechanism to try and find what the right answers are to those questions that you've got wrong. And uh, we certainly hope that this is a useful tool for you to help you uh, with your studies.